Just hit me on my telly. Most likely in the studio, twisting up the smelly. Kicking more bars than a celly. This is all necessary, but you all very scary because the flow is light. No one like, you acting like we so alike. I know you're tight, all I kick is the prototype. You know we're right, niggas like show you right. Living the loyal life, trying to spoil you why. And this is part two, I'm giving you a part of me for a part of you. How the fuck y'all feel in Amsterdam? Make some noise. I grew up on a lot of, you know, of course, you know, like Fat Pack, you know, Lil Kiki, um, a lot of downside artists, um, and, you know, MJG, you know what I'm saying, um, Scarface. And then my pops, my, uh, my pops from New York, you know what I'm saying, from the Bronx. Okay. So, you know, I also was like a big Nas fan, big yeah. DMX fan, you know what I'm saying. It's always Tupac in my house, always Tupac. And just a lot of 90s R&B, you know what I'm saying. So they keep my mind on my money. Mind on my money. Can I kick it? But that's only if you got it. Tell a mother, keep stop and keep your mind on your money. Why don't your money? Can I kick it? But yo, that's only if you got it. Tell them other kids, stop it now. Do that shit. Do that shit. Do it. Motherfucker, do that shit. Do that shit. Do it. I used to be that new guy in every school. Didn't know if I stood out if I was very cool. I've been around this whole town. I see the ups and bottoms. The people under the bridge, they think the world forgot them. Kid, I, I have to uh, congratulate you. Uh, I saw your first performance the other night at the Hot Box on 420, and uh, man, man, you rocked the show. Um, of course, uh, with it being 420, the crowd was a little, uh, a little too laid back, but uh, you did your thing and you brought a message in, in your music. Uh, how, how was it, How was your feeling uh, to be able to perform in another country? And you know, what did you expect? Um, it's a, first of all, it's a, it's a blessing, you know, just to even, you know, be in another country and perform a period, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, yeah. And on 420, you know. Uh, which is a big holiday for us, for know, sure. a big holiday for us, you know what I'm saying? We're turning up period regardless. And, uh, yeah. Um, I, I didn't really, you know, I, I didn't really know what to expect, you know. Uh, coming out here is just an experience in itself, and, you know, you just got to embrace it and, you know, take it, you know, take it on the chin and just, you know, make positives out of everything, you know what I'm saying, no matter yeah. what, so, you know what I mean, I say a positive, you know, we met, you know what I'm saying, from, from the show, I met a, uh, some promoters from the show, booked some shows, uh, just from doing that one show, and, you know, this is my first show in Amsterdam, so, I think that's a win. Yeah, 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 y'all heard that Texas music before? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like this, like this. Yeah, my nigga Mel, with the bang in my body act, and it's all of my nigga Slim, always knowing that chronic act, insomniacs, laptops and them beat machines, white hoes with an orphan's poly act, got black ties but I keep clean, south side where I be residing at, I be with scaling niggas, like the bitches, I'm 35 with the lights suspended, I got Mexican homies, hitting switches, pimping cricket, shit's ridiculous for a picture planes, then Taylor Gang, I'm more Taylor made, then Taylor Swift as I switch the flow, stay the same. Um, how were your other performances? How, um, didn't you perform in Paris, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, uh, uh, Paris was tight. Um, first time in Paris, you know. Um, yeah. 
How, how was that experience for you? Yeah, it was crazy. You know, we went and seen all the sites, went to the Eiffel Tower. You know, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we was uh, working with this uh, company called Kitsune. It's uh, a clothing company. And uh, they put on the show at this uh, really, um, really elite hotel called Les Bangs. Um, had a swimming pool in, uh, you, you know, like 100 feet from the stage. Yeah, in yeah. The same room almost. Um, it was tight. The crowd was nice. It was real intimate. Um, it was a dope performance. Got a uh, good reaction. You know what I'm saying? Good response from people. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. and, and for the people out there in, in, um, in back in Nashville and uh, other people that are watching the show, let them know that uh, the big difference from seeing another country or another city in a magazine to actually uh, witnessing it in real life, you know, and being able to explore it and, and just enjoy it. Yeah, Give I mean, them that feeling, please. It's, uh, you know, it's not like the movies. It's, uh, you got to come experience it for yourself. It's, uh, it's a beautiful place, a beautiful country. Um, a lot of good vibes, a lot of good food, um, nice people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you got to really come see these structures that, you know, you've been seeing in books and, you know, reading about all your life and just, you know, yeah. come put your hand on it and touch it, you know, come touch land and, um, you know, just be a you know, world explorer and just keep, you know, growing, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, you know, just travel the world and, you know, do what you love, you know. Kill! Kill! Kill!